but anyway that's a conversation for another day so i've just got off the train and i didn't mind giving it a bit of a heave ho to get it off the baby was just in the carrier but in the last few minutes i've switched him to the pram uh yeah to the pram good morning i've just arrived via train to hawksburn train station with the baby he is now 13 weeks old and I'm meeting a girlfriend here. We're going to have a little look around Hawksburn Village and it made me realize that not everyone, understandably, is comfortable or confident traveling via public transport in Melbourne with a baby. And so I've been doing it since the baby was three weeks old, I think. Therefore, I thought I'd share some of my tips that have made things easier and made me feel comfortable and confident doing so. Tip number one is to bring both your carrier and your pram, if you have a carrier. It will make your life much easier getting on and off public transport. Not every tram stop and not every train has accessible stops and so if you aren't too sure wear the baby in your carrier so that you can easily step off tram or train and you don't really mind giving your pram a little bit of a kick to get off somewhere whereas you would mind doing that with the baby inside of it of course tip number two is to allow in buffer time for feeding explosions, change of clothing, etc. As an example, when I'm meeting a friend, say if we want to meet at 11, we'll say that we'll meet between 11 and 11.30 to give us that buffer for someone to be late. Uh, but babies are unpredictable and they aren't on our schedule, they're on their own schedule. Okay, my next tip is to use your time wisely. Um, as an example, during the baby's nap, I made sure to get everything ready. So I got his pram ready, his outfit, restocked his nappy bag, um, got my outfit ready, put my top, jacket, bag, all at the front door, shoes, socks, everything. So that when he woke up, um, I was, halfway ready and then during his feed I double checked the public transport system uh, schedule and made sure I knew which tram I was getting and just in case I missed that I had a backup option which was the train um, and then when it was his play time I put him on his play mat set him up with some things to play with some stuff to keep him stimulated and I used that time to quickly put on a little bit of makeup, sort out my hair, and then the last thing I did was put him in his carrier, put my jacket on, and left. I ended up missing that tram by 60 seconds, which was so frustrating. I could, as I was walking along my street, I could see it. Um, I could see it go by, but I had a plan B. And so I walked to the train station and I jumped on the next train. Today I've ended up getting two trains and one tram and everything has gone so smoothly. In saying that, I did miss the first one. But that's why you have a plan B, Mama. My final tip is that remind yourself that it's such an achievement to get out of the front door with a baby, especially a newborn. So once you have done that, as soon as you lock that front door, try and relax and enjoy it as best you can. Well done, Mama. You did it.